have you heard about Switzerland? Luxury watches, banks, and top quality chocolate come to mind. As does its beautiful scenery of lakes and mountains. If you wanted to restore the fortunes and the reputation of Bitcoin, this might just be the place. I'm visiting Sug, the picture-perfect Swiss town, which isn't quite as traditional as it appears. It boasts a cluster of cryptocurrency businesses and likes to call itself Crypto Valley. cobbled streets surrounded by medieval buildings, it's easy to feel like you've been transported back in time. But in some ways, Sog is more about the future than the past, because in the last seven years, blockchain and crypto startups have mushroomed here. Although, not everyone's caught up with that just yet. You've heard of the term Crypto Valley? I am only a good night. Sog is headquarters to some of the world's biggest corporations. Maybe I'll have better luck in its bustling business district. Have you heard the term Crypto Valley? Yes, I have. What does it mean to you? Mm, not very much. <laughs> is it like a film or something? I'm a teacher. Many of my students know more about it than I do. But <laughs> um, you can... Um, pay, for example, playing computer games, you can use cryptocurrency. Not bad. For a really authoritative view, I met up with a member of a new government-supported body, the Crypto Valley Association. Delphine, what makes Zug the perfect environment for Bitcoin businesses? First reason, it's kind of like a tax heaven paradise. Zug is where you can pay the laws. You have a government-friendly mm. environment where government, you know, it's um, it's a decentralized uh, democracy, and the government is very friendly toward like uh, new technology. It was very friendly toward crypto, and especially the content of Zug. In Zug, you can pay in Bitcoin. I don't know if you notice in like a few restaurants, yes. you can pay some taxes with Bitcoin. So this I find super interesting. You can already pay your taxes here with yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, I think only wow. twenty percent of them so, but you can still pay some taxes uh, with with Bitcoin. You can see why anyone might want to live here. But there's an invisible attraction too, which attracts the best of world business. The whole Crypto Valley project is getting a boost from the arrival of a major blockchain movement. Bitcoin SV, the original Bitcoin. Calvin Air and a host of BSV's biggest players have come to Switzerland to mark the establishment of the Bitcoin Association's new headquarters, here in the heart of the business district. It's all part of a long-term plan, to rescue Bitcoin from its association with drugs and criminality and to make it as squeaky clean as Switzerland itself. But the reason why we are in Switzerland, which was the first decision we made, is because uh, the Bitcoin Association needed a home. It was in Antigua, and Antigua is, is my home, and a place I love dearly. But it's not well known, and it's certainly not well known as being a, a home of international associations. So we decided that Zug would be the right place for the association. And then when we were tax structuring some of the other uh, companies, Tal and Enchain, it was decided that they need a presence here as well. So uh, the three entities, three organizations, took an entire floor and they divided it up between them and uh, this uh, works very well. Brilliant. And, and of course, we all know Craig's views on cryptocurrency in general. <laughs> it, may there be some discrepancies there with the name of Crypto Valley and what we feel about Bitcoin? <laughs> Uh, well, it, 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 yes, <laughs> to answer the question simply, but it goes a lot deeper than that. I mean, there's nothing about what happens in the crypto industry that is similar to what we're trying to do with Bitcoin's earn and spend economy. This is a big week for Camp BSV. Tonight, they will have their chance to deliver their message to the Crypto Valley elite. This is a very exclusive event designed to introduce Crypto Valley to Bitcoin SV. They're expecting the movers and shakers to turn up, but there are sensitivities. 
so we've been asked not to film anyone except for the people making presentations. The Bitcoin Association's European lead kicks things off. My name is Patrick Prinz and I'm the uh, European Operations Manager of the Bitcoin Association. We advance Bitcoin SV, short for Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, because we strictly adhere to what uh, Satoshi Nakamoto wrote in the uh, white paper. Over to the man who BSVers believe invented Bitcoin, aka Satoshi Nakamoto, Dr. Craig Wright. For years, I had lots of people made me feel inadequate because I never realized the people and what they wanted with Bitcoin. But I also went away and spent a bit of time proving the original idea actually works. And it only works one way. Simple. That is, if you understand the language. We know Bitcoin, we know the numbers. As Steve Shadows explained, it's about allowing businesses to focus on what they do best, making it easy for them to build on blockchain. This is where Enchain comes in. To boil down all of the complexity of Bitcoin into this, you know, one simple endpoint. Um, and an, it's an endpoint that speaks uh, the same language that, um, that most IT departments in the world are used to speaking. There are already signs that BSV is taking roots in Switzerland, as I found when I met local entrepreneur Bernard Mueller who's developing a unique electronic payment system. So when somebody pays using BSV, they're actually paying in cash. And that, that may sound not like a big difference to a credit or debit card, but there is a huge difference in regards to what it means for compliance and what it means for um, basically setting up multiple parties in the background. The whole turn Bitcoin took was sort of away from payments, away from you know, commerce, away from everyday people using it. And that's never how, you know, how I imagined the value add that Bitcoin brings would, would unfold. Absolutely. And that's why uh, we're using Bitcoin in the form of BSV, because we have stability, we have scalability, and we have economics of scale. Unfortunately, I see that 99% of all blockchains out there have reverse economic of scale. So the more people use it, the more people want to build something on it, the more expensive it gets to use it. Spreading the message in SUG is a drop in the ocean for Bitcoin SV's ambitious plan. Because the technology that we favor in, in our ecosystem is so unique, it's a one-way street. Like people that come into our ecosystem and learn about it can't leave. So we're net gaining people that are involved in our ecosystem all the time. And the reason they can't leave is because the technology has superpowers that aren't replicated anywhere else in the world. And it, it's in many cases patent protected superpowers. We believe we know where this is all going to end. But uh, it's still going to be a lot of work to educate the world, and that's what we're all about right now. And I think the whole battle, I think the tec technical battle is over, and I think the battle that we're facing right now is one of education. No small challenge, but how long will it take for global adoption? I believe that you know there, there will always be others that offer whatever they offer. I mean, that's, that's just the nature of the world. But you know, what's the time frame for uh, other platforms to come to the public realisation? Because I think they've already come to the private realisation, as Calvin said. I'd say within the next six, six to 18 months. That's what I was telling you about. It's a one-way street once people understand what this technology can do. Bitcoin SV was designed for the whole world. It'll be everywhere and nowhere. On computers, on your phone, in the cloud. But if it needs to have a physical presence, this little slice of Switzerland is a great choice. Cheers.